What is going on Bulls Nation? Another comeback win from down 20 by the Bulls back to back now. But hey, we're going to talk about this new pace that we're playing. So we're going to talk all about that right after this. This is your home for all things Chicago Bulls. Join the conversation. You're listening to Chicago Bulls Nation. All right, Bulls Nation. So I'm sure you noticed by now that the Bulls are playing in a much, much faster pace. It was evident. It was kind of chaotic, you know, initially. And then we won against uh, the Bucks, And then we won again against um, the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. They, they were kind of, you know, they're not in full strength, but that's okay. I show us the Bulls. You know, the Bulls are never in full strength, but we won. So, I'll, I'll, hey, I'll take it. But today, this is an Orlando Magic that is, you know, that's has given us problems throughout the years because of their pace and they're young and they're athletic. And um, I can clearly say we went toe to toe with these young guys, you know, with our defense lack or at least lack of defensive, you know, prowess and all that stuff. We still managed to outscore these guys. It kind of reminds me of the D'Antoni system. You know, although they are not gunning for the eight seconds or less, uh, it, they don't really have a clock, but the ball moves so fast. They use a lot of energy. They shoot a ton of threes. So this game is reliant on how well the Bulls would shoot. But because they shoot it so frequently, I guess <laughs> I guess the mentality is somehow, some way, we are going to make some. And they do so far at least uh hey i can't complain this is the first time we've been over 500 in almost what like 700 days or something like that which is nuts if you think about it because this is a team with demar de rosen on it um is it safe to say now that demar is slowing us down um you know it, it's crazy to think that way but it it, it is evident we, we're playing faster uh, the shot selection is definitely different than what we're accustomed to. I, I, I'm not sure if I like it, you know, uh, because you're so reliant on three-point shooting, but that's the NBA now. And so far, we've been winning, so hey, I like it. <laughs> uh, but long-term, well, this team is not for long-term. We all know that. We were supposed to be a bad team. We are supposed to lose a ton of games and be competing for Cooper Flag. But if we continue this trend, we might not be. You know, we might be contending. Now, if we focus on this team itself, what we have in front of us right now, I mean, Josh Giddy's playing, you know, good. This is the type of game that as a player you want to play, you know, fast paced. Everyone can shoot the ball because it, it, it is fast. So the shot goes around. And even if it doesn't, you will have an opportunity because of how quickly you utilize the shot clock, the shot selection, the profile, it's also it's bad for a big man, you know, kind of like Sonogo, because there's not going to be a back down. But Vooch, I, I would say, is, is a good fit for this because he can stretch the floor. He doesn't really run. But man, look at that fast break by Ayo. This, is, this offense is a perfect fit for Ayo. Now, as far as defense, if you need a stop, we probably need a lot more guys like Dale and Terry. Dale and Terry is one of those guys who could, you know, I at least put some resistance. I'm not saying he's Caruso. Put some resistance on on the perimeter, right? Like, I, would I like more big guys that can probably move? Sure, but I think Jalen Smith provides that. Uh, so is Patrick Williams. He He's not a lockdown defender, but he's good enough. As you can see here, sticking with Paolo. Uh, He's, he's good enough. You know, rebounding could do a lot better. But here, Josh, finally, Giddy showing his height. I said on my first video, you know, he's 6'8", which is great. But I don't know really know where it, it's going to come into play because he's not playing like he's 6'8". You know, you're a big guard. But now he's helping on the rebounding because we are we are kind of thin in the front line. You know, we got... Patrick Williams, who's, who's pretty good, you know, I'm not going to lie, he's pretty good, but he's not a rebounding machine either, so it has to be a team effort, Zach Levine so far is playing within the system, you know, he would take 
some crazy shots here and there but that's how you would expect hey kobe does that too you know so it is what it is this this offense would highlight zach levine more you know when he is hot this type of offense and he zach levine wasn't too hot tonight and we still won against a, a, a better quality team in the orlando magic because this is a barometer they're, they're young they're fast they always beat us now without jalen smith and lonzo ball Mm. Mm. I don't know, guys. This might be a, a sleeper of a season where we might be surprised with how good this Bulls team could be. I'm not banking on it, but so far I am enjoying how we play this game. Of course, the flip side of that is that sometimes you get aggravated because of the defense. But hey, that's that's a trade-off with this kind of you know with, with this kind of game the only one who was able to, to sustain this with the defense i would say is golden state uh because draymond is so good defensively that he could switch and he could pretty much do a one-man zone when he is switching and, and covering the paint and then it also doesn't hurt that at that time uh clay thompson was a pretty good defender and he could shoot lights out which opens the floor but so far Hey, I take this kind of offense. I, I I take it. As much as I not a big fan of just chucking up threes, it is working. I I there the the players that the Bulls has is kind of made for this type of offense. So it might be in for a surprise. And and also the, the schedule is kind of light. We're playing Brooklyn on Friday. You never know. Hey, this is still the Bulls game. You know, we might shoot. 10 out of 60 against Brooklyn so there's not a gimme here but so far like I said this is fun to watch offensively defensively it's, you know you might scratch your head here and there pull your hair but I'm enjoying this so you know let's see on Friday if we can get the ball rolling imagine if we win on Friday we're gonna be two ga two games over 500 who would have thought that we never reached that feat last year at all with DeMar DeRozan here. So I'll see you guys on Friday. A big win by the Bulls, especially with this great team of the of Magic up and coming as well. So I'm excited. Thank you for watching. If you are a Bulls fan, so consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on Friday.